everybody. How you doing? We're down here at uh, Bradley Mounting Plaza, getting ready to. Uh, hey, Mark, I was going to call you. Maybe we could live stream. Yeah, I can. You know, I try to come down. I got your list of the live streamers coming. So, in case anybody else is coming down. Oh, good. Right. Yeah, we were just primarily Bindi and Ricky organizing. We're kind of like a little over our heads, but now we are like five people. But um, yeah, we we're going through the test, and I'm like, we have food, uh, it's a lot of work. equipment, wiring, and I'm like, live streaming, live streaming. I keep forgetting I have to like talk to live streamers. You should buy yourself a smartphone. You really should. It's so easy. It's not very difficult at all. And, well, uh, I have a decent phone. You should do it. Oh, and you mean live streaming? Yeah. Oh, I have so many other things going on. Yeah, we just turned on when we were doing it, right? I should yeah. move people over this way. Oh, because we need to play. Yeah, but that's... Can I ask for a better evening, huh? Yeah, nice. Fabulous out here. Oh, totally. So it's the summertime in San Francisco. All right, we're back. I like this app a lot better, folks. For those of you that you were watching. Oh, it's all good. Just chatting with the audience. There isn't anybody yet. Takes a minute or two to get people on. Things to get started here. It's a beautiful evening in San Francisco. We're enjoying our summer. Hey, yeah, I'm going to keep my eye out in case somebody. Okay, this is Ruthie, she's one of the organizers of Occupy Forum. Getting into that, I know I'm running. I'm usually, I'm usually on military time, which is why uh, hurry up and wait. I'm on Bambi, sir. That's free and solid. That's up on the Yeah, I'd bring the for those of you out there. Do you want to follow my Twitter posting? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a lot different than the uh, last time I was down in this area. So this is a lot different than the last time I was in this area. Yeah. That was, uh, that's when the cops came down here at 101. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of scary. But I'm glad I was there, you know. I'm going to come by, uh, I'm going 
Just my MSM. Uh, got out there pretty good. Thanks. I try to go I try to go out as much as possible. This weekend it's gonna be pretty easy. There's action going on every day. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, okay. It was direct action that's gonna be happening. You can colonize uh, downtown. Yeah. That's gotta be pretty exciting. I'll try to I'm gonna try to make it every day for that. And New York was pretty cool. Yeah. New York was pretty cool. Oh, going back to these guys are last week. Last week. Yeah. It was like a battle of the streets, basically. So, yeah, it was like they were they were keep moving and splitting up, and the cops would try and follow us, and they would split up. And when you get them split up, they're a lot easier to deal with. They can't like stop them from doing it. But the worst thing you can do in a protest like that is you just sit still. You know? And especially it's really good if you have like four or five different places to meet up. You know? Yeah, yeah, the cops would give them a chance to mask, and uh, that's when I kick your ass. But if you keep them separated, I'm going to have to get them. That's up there, that's up my, uh, that's up my music game. Um, I'm just switching over to game music because, uh, I like to stop it better and, and get a better and, uh, it's like the second time I've used it, but it works pretty well. And as you see right now, I'm streaming, and it's not like checking out my battery, right? Like, see how I can, like, reduce that? Like, the stream gets dark, clearly, and it's too tricky And that's like this, which is you, right? It gives you an audience down to uh, a lot of features about it I like. Yeah. Well, everything, everything is archived on, uh, everything is archived on, uh, on uh, YouTube, under Freeman Sullivan. Oh, okay. So, uh, uh, Alright, now this is where BAM users are supposed to have it. Okay, I'm back to my stream again. I'm sure. Yeah, sorry folks, uh, I don't know if that call went through. Yeah, this one doesn't drop your uh, signal when you're using it, like Ustream does. It's a lot more sophisticated software. It's got, it's got a lot more features. Uh, live stream you have to pay for it. Right? And uh, I'm already paying like $170 a month for internet and all the other shit. And, uh, you know, unless I get a sponsor or something, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend that much more money at it. Well, I don't know, because, uh, uh, I'm not really sure, to be honest. I haven't questioned them about it. Uh, smartphone. Smartphone and an unlimited, uh, data plan. I go with Metro, because, uh, you can get a lot of stay in the city or in a major city. They have reliable service. For seventy-one dollars a month. Um, I also have a hotspot that I pay for from Clear, which allows me to live stream from inside of buildings. And uh, I'm actually thinking about like uh, inside of buildings. And when you have Wi-Fi, you have a Wi-Fi hotspot, Wi-Fi hotspot. It's actually faster than your router home. Uh, speed test is faster than cable, and it's also faster than uh, DSL. You can use it anywhere, yeah. Right. Anywhere. So, my next thing I'm thinking about getting is, uh, I want to get a satellite phone. Because right? I want to do some traveling in Mexico, and uh, I'm going to need one. I'm going to be going way up in the hinterlands. Where no, you know, I have an opportunity to go up. It's up in these I want to go through. I definitely want to make sure I have a, a nice camera and a good phone, yeah. Yeah, well, it's way, way interesting. They've been fighting in the, for the last 20 years. So, it's so much successful. They've been able to hold the you know, the land. They've been able to hold their land. Which, considering, you know, pretty remarkable achievement. You know. But, uh, I want to also go down there for the uh, solstice. Near the pyramid. 
I've been there before, and another nice thing is that you can go out to the, the jungles and find uh, fresh uh, soul cybers. They have like, you can get like, they have 14 different species of soul cybers that grow there a while. So. Uh, I know, yes, I am. He's a friend of mine, a good friend of mine. Oh, really? Yeah, I have a... I miss him. Very interesting man when he lives here taken away from us at far too young of an age. Yeah. You know, and it happened really quick. Oh, yeah. You know, he metastasized like bone. You know, but he wasn't a big pothead, unfortunately. Right, because I, uh, I, I came up with leukemia about two years ago. And the doctor told me that the only reason it didn't spread was because of all the pot smoking that I did. Uh, It's a wonder drug of the 21st century. You know, people scoff at it, but it has, I mean, if it was legitimately uh, taken as, you know, seriously as medicine by the FDA, you know, because doctors in other countries, I mean, it's been a medicine for 6,000 years. I mean, it's so fun to see. But I never, like, uh, no doubt that. Yeah, so around the world, there's been lots and lots of uh, protests and hundreds of thousands of people out in the streets in 20 countries around the world. Uh, Spain, uh, most prominently, yesterday was France. Saudi, uh, Saudi, uh, yeah, France, uh, Saudi Arabia, which is amazing because they have one of the most oppressive governments on earth. Uh, Bahrain, uh, let's see, in other countries. Germany had massive demonstrations. Uh, Mexico, yeah, Madrid was, Madrid, I watched that all day long. That was, yeah, that was something. Well, you know, I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, to uh, to learn Spanish because I'm going to need to when I go down to Mexico. So, probably already heard you know, Wednesday at five. Uh, hold on, Wednesday at five. What's going on? You're on live stream right now. So. You have to tell me later if you want to slide so remind you. Doesn't have that silence. Hey, everybody, uh, okay, ask the people. I, I, okay, Watching if you're out there, not. Yes, there was there was uh, massive demonstrations all around the world. Of course, you wouldn't know it if you were watching uh, regular news like CNN or or Fox or anybody else uh, who pretends that uh, dissent doesn't exist around the, in other countries. But in Spain, they had a media blackout, and they were telling people uh, MSN crews not to set up their satellites and. If it wasn't for live streamers, you wouldn't have been able to see the actual protest or actually know what was going on.
pretty good, pretty good healthy stream out here. So uh, we'll have no problems with interruptions in the broadcast. Right now we're going to be starting in about five minutes. Beautiful evening here. And we're doing this it's, uh, every Monday, weather permitting, at 6 p.m. Uh, occupy the forum. So we have uh, an interesting guest uh, that will be lecturing, speaking about... Uh, different issues that are relevant to the Occupy community at large. So if you happen to be in the area in San Francisco, uh, do drop in. Uh, we're here at Bradley Manning uh, Plaza, uh, renamed it, uh, it used to be Justin Herman, in honor of Bradley Manning, American hero, uh, which is right down by the ferry building, a stone's throw away. So if you're in the area, do drop by on Mondays at 6 p.m. Uh, promises to be a busy week for demonstrating here in San Francisco on October, geez, I got my dates here, but I'm going to be out here live streaming pretty much every day with the exception of tomorrow, so you can check in and uh, watch one of my streams, so I'm getting out there as, more, as much as possible, and, and uh, I'm going to be using Bam user instead of Ustream, I think, I like the software, it's a little bit nicer, so do check, check in and uh, and follow me uh, at Freeman Sullivan on Twitter. And if you'd like for me to appear uh, and to live stream your event, uh, you can uh, call or text me um, after the live streams are over, of course, at 415-499-2780, or uh, email me at freemansullivan at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to come out to your event and do it for free, as long as it's uh, politically relevant here in San Francisco and the Bay Area. So, with that said, uh, we're hoping to get started here in a few minutes. large protest today in Washington, D.C., Occupy D.C., celebrated their one-year anniversary, and I was watching some of the streams from D.C., uh, very powerful there. Uh, police in D.C. are kind of a, as long as you're not openly engaged and trashing the place, they are uh, very liberal about letting people demonstrate, uh, 
but it is Washington after all. Uh, the only ones that are not liberal are the park police there, but uh, they can, they're actually uh, can deal with them as well. Not as difficult to deal with as one might believe. Uh, here in San Francisco, it seems like uh, it's got me bothered uh, a little bit uh, with Homeland Security being here. And I like to continue being able to fly on a plane and, and still be an activist. I don't want to feel like I have to, uh, I have to hide out somewhere uh, just to be able to do this. Um, and I get this weird feeling that, I'm, you know, that uh, Homeland Security is definitely watching what things are going on. Uh, hopefully they'll uh, lose interest now that the uh, 101 campus disappeared for a while. But uh, I wouldn't bet on it. Uh, speaking of which, uh, we're going to be uh, uh, organizing a op trapwire demonstration uh, against uh, surveillance by state corporations. Uh, now there's software that they've been monitoring Occupy with and anybody else practically in the world uh, by using the network of CCT cameras, CCTV cameras that are around and they're practically ubiquitous. So uh, a company named uh, Stratford Communication, I believe, I'm pretty sure of it actually, uh, we're out there marketing the software, which really isn't anything more than what most people are, are offering. But there was a company called Salesforce which is uh, their headquarters are based directly across the street here in this building. And uh, uh, Salesforce is sort of like a, uh, an employer-employee kind of like website. And uh, they were thinking about buying some of the software. So uh, we're going to be organizing this demonstration for uh, Saturday, October 20th. And it will start at 450 Golden Gate Avenue by the Federal Building at 10 a.m. And we will proceed down here to one market marketplace and continue with the demonstration at Salesforce uh, since they were very much interested in buying the software and maybe a demonstration will deter them from actually using it and purchasing it. Now be aware that uh, uh, as an activist or as a live streamer you are being monitored by law enforcement so uh, if you do get online make sure you block your IP number uh, by using either a virtual private network or if you're not a bunch of uh, geek to do that, um, there's software that you can get called Peer Guardian, which is fairly good and it keeps people from snooping your IP and then trying to get onto you, then to know what kind of files you have on your computer, especially if you're using P2P when it networks, where that is important. So always maintain your security when you're online and uh, if you're not, like I shouldn't have to say this, but do not uh, do any, say anything or do anything that's incriminating on your social networks because that can and will be used against you in a court of law. So uh, that's my legal uh, advice, my uh, uh, caveat, caveat emptor when you're using social networks. And uh, it's okay to talk about things as long as they're not um, engaged in any kind of uh, criminal conspiracy. So if you're doing organizing, uh, it's best just to let people know the place and time and you can talk specifics with them in a secure form of communication, like IRC chat or Gchat using video, that way they don't store the records. So always be aware to use secure communications. Always check your websites to make sure they have that little S after the P, which will not keep you completely safe, but it's a good start. birthday to Los Angeles, Occupy Los Angeles, it's a year old today. I was watching streams from LA and they were uh, they were marching, they were actually allowed to come back and, and uh, hang out down by City Hall in Los Angeles and uh, they had pretty good numbers. It's good to see Occupy and coming back for a bit of a resurgence um, and admittedly things are a little bit easier now that there's not camps to maintain uh, because I took an awful lot of energy and that energy that was uh, used in maintaining a camp, which is good to have a public presence, but ideas like Occupy Forum are 
are good because they allow you to maintain a temporary presence somewhere and not incur the wrath of the authorities. The sort of play is called, uh, there's a book written by Hakeem Bey, B-E-Y, uh, called uh, Temporary Autonomous Zone, back I believe in the mid-80s, late 80s, and uh, putting forth the principle of holding spaces for temporary periods of time. And uh, there's a group here in San Francisco called SPAS, uh, Semi-Permanent Autonomous Zone, which uh, postulates a theory which is very similar to what Occupy Forum is about. So, remember that you don't have to, as far as anarchists and our anarchist movement goes, uh, you don't have to hold a piece of property to be able to, uh, I mean, it kind of is an anthro- it's kind of like the antithesis of what anarchy is all about. It's supposed to anarchists don't believe in private property, yet they've invested so much energy into holding a spot. So, anyway, I think we're getting ready to start. Yeah.